Hello, my name is Allie Jo, and in this video, we are going to learn what fossils can teach us about prehistoric environments. First, let's answer the question, what is a fossil? Fossils are preserved remains or impressions of past living things such as animals like dinosaurs, plants like these ferns, or insects like this mosquito trapped in amber. Fossil can be thousands to millions of years old and tells a lot about past or prehistoric environments. Now that we know what a fossil is, how do fossils form? Normally, when an animal dies, it doesn't leave anything behind. But if the animal gets buried very quickly after death with mud or sediment, the overlying sediment will become rock and their bones will harden. Fossils can then be exposed when the rock is eroded over time and scientists, like paleontologists, can then discover them. It's clear that fossils are cool, but what else can we learn from them? We can learn about prehistoric environments. Let's take a step back and break down these two words. Prehistoric simply means a time period before written record, meaning before humans were alive. Environment is everything that surrounds animals and humans. An example of a prehistoric environment would be the period of dinosaurs that happened millions of years ago. We can find fossils of dinosaurs and plants from this time period and use those to infer what kind of plants were common and the relative temperature. Today we can use thermometers to check the temperature outside at places around the world. When we know that the North and South Pole are very cold, while the equator has a tropical environment and is much warmer. Scientists can use fossils they find from past periods in Earth's history and learn something about past temperatures on different continents. For instance, we know that Canada today is cold, but during the period of dinosaurs millions of years ago, we know the temperature used to be much warmer because we can find fossilized palm leaves, cycad leaves, and fern leaves. These leaves are important because they show that Canada had a different environment millions of years ago. The fossilized palm leaves, cycad leaves, and fern leaves show that the prehistoric environment was tropical when dinosaurs were alive and roamed the Earth. Scientists have also found fossils on the coldest continent, Antarctica. Antarctica is located at the bottom of the Earth where you find the South Pole. Most of Antarctica is covered in ice over one mile thick and can get as cold as minus 70 degrees Fahrenheit on an average day. Antarctica doesn't get much rain and is therefore an icy desert. In the Transantarctic Mountains, which run through Antarctica, fossilized trees have been found that are here 260 million years old, which are older than dinosaurs. Other plant fossils found are fossilized fern leaves and conifers. These plants for the Antarctica used to be covered in a forest filled with mosses, ferns, and conifers, like Christmas trees. This means that Antarctica had a prehistoric environment that was a much warmer climate than it is today, so it could support a rainforest. Finally, let's talk about what we can learn from fossils in the Midwest. Today, the Midwest has hot, humid summers and cold, snowy winters. Typically, when we think of the Midwest, we think of large areas of flat farmland perfect for growing crops like corn and soybeans. However, fossils from the Midwest used to be much different. We find fossils like trilobites, coral, shells of these brachiopods, and plants like crinoids, which are all are from the ocean. In fact, these marine fossils show that the Midwest used to be under a warm tropical ocean that stretched the entire central U.S. There were huge reefs that hosted organisms like corals, algae, sponges, bivalves, fish, and much more. Let's review what we learned in this video. We learned that fossils are preserved remains or impressions of past living things. Fossil forms when an animal dies and is buried very quickly by mud or sediment. Over time, the overlying sediment will compact and turn to rock, preserving the dead animal. Later, sediment can be eroded and expose the fossil to the surface for scientists to discover. Fossil can be thousands to millions of years old and tells a lot about past or prehistoric environments. A prehistoric environment is what surrounds past living things before humans were alive. An example of a prehistoric environment would be the time period of dinosaurs, including the plants and animals. We saw examples of different kinds of fossils and learned that these fossils can tell us about past temperatures. For instance, we saw that palm tree leaves and fern leaves found during the period of dinosaurs shows that the Earth was much warmer billions of years ago than it is today. We also learned that although Antarctica is the coldest place on Earth today, millions of years ago it was much warmer. We know it was warmer because scientists have found fossilized conifer trees that show Antarctica used to be covered by an expansive forest. Finally, we talked about what fossils in the Midwest can teach us about prehistoric environments in the U.S. Fossilized marine animals and shells show that the Midwest used to be under a warm tropical ocean millions of years ago. Thank you for listening and I hope you have learned a lot about what fossils can teach us about prehistoric environments.